How's it going, everybody? It's your boy McWhippin, and today we're back with yet another uh, installment of our Transport Fever 2 um, playthrough. And first off, I'm assuming if you haven't heard this already from the other streams, you noticed to change the voice. That's because the um, gruff, kind of Texan hillbilly kind of voice was just absolute murder on my throat, so I decided I'm just going to need to change it up and go with kind of, you know, encyclopedia generica kind of American kind of voice that I am that I do. Um, I haven't really named this one yet, but I um, decided to kind of go with this one just to make things a little bit easier on me. Um, and yeah, I will be saying this a couple more times because I still have a couple of videos in the pipeline because so I still did um, a couple of pre-recorded NBAs, so those will still have the gruff voice for the next two episodes and my next City Skylines as well that was actually recorded in advance, but so when those switch over I'll do the speech one more time, but then after that it's just gonna be normal. I won't be doing this initial you know talk about the change of the voice, but It is what it is. So well today we're back with Transfer Fever 2, and it's going to be time for us to continue on with our um, transport with our uh, transport line, to, uh, passenger line, bring it down here to Chandler, and then looping it all the way back up to Jersey City to make the full connection between the entire. Um, loop and then probably after that we're going to try to find ourselves a second area to do that loop we might do this one here so Fremont, Cambridge Fort Lauderdale Wichita um, Mesquite Bakersfield Houston kind of that this kind of entire loop we might end up doing um so we kind of just, yeah, bounce around. we we'll do a transport loop there and then kind of bring resources in like we did over here. And probably end up connecting the two routes together at a point. Probably from the Houston. Fremont might dip over here into Winston-Salem and then back over to Fremont so you have that connection point in Winston for people to go between the two sets so that's kind of my plan for where I'm gonna go and probably do the same thing kind of up here and another one up here and then kind of snake a connection between them all together that's kind of the plan um, Actually, no, I'm, I'm probably going to do it as... Yeah, uh, I'll probably do, do it along the river, just crossing back and forth between the river. So it'll be like Tampa to Fremont to Winston. Um, and then... Probably going up to, yeah, Warren, Conrad. And then Overland Park, and then... Port Lucy. Yeah, kind of, yeah. That's probably going to be it. It'll be just a, a loop going around the outside ring, and each one of them has their own separate transfer notes. So that's, that's the plan. Uh, if I remember to actually stick to it, that's a whole different ballgame. But that's the plan I'm kind of going with for the city. So, first things first, we should speed things back up. Get ourselves going so we can get ourselves some more money because although all of our routes are making money, some are slower than others. One that matters is the train line's pulling on the big dough because it's got yeah a lot of people going in there, so that one we're happy with. And I was just kind of waiting on 
just some extra money so we can actually build a drain line from Tempe to Chandler and then building the tracks all the way up back up to Jersey City. That's that's the goal. But for now, we'll do what we normally do, which is connecting these roads together. So it's easier for bus routes to be created. connect that one like that there we go so I got ourselves a big space around there I think now might as well get our tracks going Okay, so yeah, I'll probably put it alongside the road here. That'll probably be the best way to go about it. Just so we can avoid as much of these mountains as possible. There we go, so that's... Kind of my idea, so I'll put him... Like so. Get that track to connect together and there we go so that one's done next thing to do get ourselves a road depot pop them in and then get our bus stops going And there we go. So that's uh, going to be our new line for busing. And 
Alright, here we go now, we'll go to. Oh, I already had a road depot. Whoops. Oh, I will. Actually. Go like that one, because it's just a waste of money to do, too. And. Uh, here we'll. Yeah, it was a math truck, and we'll add. Five, I guess. Because I'm almost on line 15. Just a big enough town that might need it. And then we'll go to our. And that goes from Tempe, and then we'll. Oh. Tempe, then Chandler, and back to Tempe. Then it goes Winston and Warren. There we go. So now we got that one on the line. That one's good to go. I'm already starting to see and people already line up the bus stops. People want to move around, which is good. You already got one person at the train station. So that one's going to be a very good route when that one goes through. And now, the final part of this. is going to be a long windy trip from Chandler to Jersey City nice little mountain path right there going through And there we go, there's the loop. So, now that the loop is done, one of the things you're going to want to do is start putting in some passing lanes because I'm going to start doubling up the route and we're going to have trains running uh, each way
Mm, this part here, I'm just going to build double the entire length because I know this is going to be a, a route that I'm going to need double on for most of it anyway, so it just makes sense to do it right off the bat. this side uh, here we'll connect this one in and then we'll put the signals on this one so and I'll put a couple more signals in here just so we have more wait stops So if there is two vehicles on the line at the same time, they're not bunching up too far away from each other. There we go. So that'll fix that. I'm just still making lots and lots of money, except for line, bus line 10. We'll just continue on with building up our train line because I'm going to want to start getting ready for second train as soon as I can. Like I said we're going to have one running each direction. Which would help out with transporting people from um, both ways, which should earn us a lot more money as well, which is always good because money equals yay.
Okay, you know. So now that one's done. Oh, Tabernak. I just realized I already have two lines here. I didn't need to do that. Oh, I have not need to do this at all the entire time. I thought I didn't think I planned that far in advance. Oh, I forgot about this. I can just do that. I have two lines already set up at every single one of my train stations. What a dingus I am. Can't believe I forgot about that. Okay, now just time to just do that parallel line the entire way. Except for this one for some reason. Why didn't this one actually go with the double? That's kind of odd. Oh. Guess it's time to configure it. the line to each side and we'll close him back in
Try to expand this through. Was the expensive part that bridge? And that went to the wrong one. I'll put that one to there, and we can loop this one. There and now we have ourselves a full double loop. And we'll put our signals in just so we're, if we're gonna have trains bunching up, we don't want them. Doing it too far away from each other. One catch up on the other. We're going to be adding in multiple lines down the road. It's going to be more than one train going through. Plus, it's going to be more than one line going through some of these stations. So, we're always going to want to make sure we have plenty of. Uh, it's called uh, signals so we can make sure we uh, so they don't bunch up at all and we can keep these guys going because we always want to make sure those trains keep on running and don't get bunched up And the reason why I'm putting the train tracks like this and actually doing cuts going each way is just for the station here so it makes sure that it doesn't, that the trains, if I ever need to pull them back in, I can. And I can do it from either direction, no problem. So that's the reason for that. Um, And for the moment, we're going to kind of let things... Actually, at this point, we're actually probably going to just leave it at this for now. Because we're already actually a half hour in. It's, that went by really quickly. Did not think it would. And there we go. So the line is completed. So we're going to leave it there uh, for today. Uh, next episode, we are going to uh, do the second loop. Um, so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna actually get the train, put it on the opposite direction, and, um, change the first line so it goes counterclockwise, and then put the second one clockwise, so then we have them going each direction. So that's the plan, and then we're gonna start planning out our new loop and kind of getting the things together over here to kind of start building everything on this side. So, once again, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and all that. Uh, I'll leave a message down below in the comments um, if you want to. Kind of help shape and guide the channel. Um, definitely appreciate it if you do. Um, like I say, any, any little bit will kind of help for trying to spread everything out and uh, show everyone um, 
the channel, maybe people will start liking it, maybe I can start making something matter out of this, so again, thanks so much for watching, and have yourselves a good night.